Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the CZ455 10 round rimfire magazines. Now what I'm going to do in this review guys is just uh, show you quickly on the desktop here the magazine and just a quick disassembly but then we're going to get out on the farm and I'm actually going to cycle it through the Lithgow LA101 in both 22LR and 22 Magnum. As most of you know who um, you know own a Lithgow, a little bit frustrating you know just having the 5 round magazine Always nice to have more, so um, they do say or advertise that CZ are compatible, so we're going to put that to the test in this review. Okay, so let's uh, start straight up, guys. A close up look here of the magazine. Look, not much to it. I mean, it's just a polymer magazine with a metal follower. Quite sturdy, quite strong, very lightweight. Very much the same with the uh, 1.7 HMR or 22 um, Magnum magazine identical except just bigger dimensions. One thing I find with the magazines quite good is with the follower, there's a fair bit of spring tension under it. So, you know, you get a nice firm um, solid feel to it. So I dare say that'll be great to eliminate any sort of feeding issues because you're definitely gonna have that next round coming up with a bit of authority. So um, I'm sure there's not gonna be any problems with it. Now guys, uh, price-wise, uh, $69.90. I got that from Cleaver Firearms, so that was the price at the time of doing this review. I'm not sure how much you pay elsewhere, but uh, that's the price I pay. Okay, so we'll just show you um, the disassembly real quick. One thing you've got to be careful with this is when you actually push in here, there's a little tab that you've got to push down on with a small punch. Okay, once you start sliding the tab off, make sure you have your thumb or finger over the rear here. And why I say that is that tab is just a little uh, plunger and there's a spring under it. And if you don't keep your thumb over the rear of it as you're sliding the tab off, it's just gonna go flying on you, okay? So just <laughs> trust me, I, I've uh, found out the hard way with that. So make sure you keep your thumb over it. Okay, so just keep the thumb over the back, slide it off like so, and then just slowly release your thumb on everything. Okay, so there's our spring, but this is this plunger here, as you can see there, and empty it out, and there's the little spring, okay? So that's what you gotta be careful of because <laughs> that does go flying if you haven't got your thumb secured on the back when you're taking this apart. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You know, there's really not much more to show you guys. Identical with the 22 Magnum one. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Very straightforward. Assembly, just completely in reverse. All right, guys, so let's get out on the farm now, cycle this through, and just make sure they're compatible with the Lithgow rifles. Okay, so we'll just start with the 22, using SK high velocity. Okay. So let's test it. And we're clear so definitely no problems there with the 22 lr let's try the 22 magnum okay so we'll use the um, cci maxi mag in 22 magnum okay so let's put it to the test
Okay guys, so we've got absolutely no problem there, so that'll uh, be all I've got to say. <laughs> Might as well wrap up. Guys, it works, so if you want a uh, 10 round magazine for your Lithgo, have a look at the CZ uh, range of magazines because as you can see, there's no problem with them. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.